Okay, so uh, let's get started here uh, with the basic joint creation for a character. Uh, I'm just going to point out a couple tips here and some basic uh, tools and things I use. Whoops, there goes that. Uh, CometCartoons.com uh, has the uh, script that I use a lot. Uh, it's a Comet script, and uh, we're going to use it quite a bit. So uh, www.comet-cartoons.com is where you can find that one. And... Um, after you load that into your Maya plugins, it's going to come up up here in your palette. You can click on that, and uh, got a bunch of selections here and tools and all kinds of things. I thought you could move this, but anyway. Um, okay, so with this this first video, I'm just going to get started on the basics of creating joints, some of the uh, attributes, and some of the things that we want to well, do and not do. So anyway, so we've got from the hotbox, we've got skeleton joint tool. And uh, if you're working on a school computer or multiple user computer, make sure you go into the option box and reset the tool. Uh, you can also, I'm in the animation uh, selection up here tab. So you can select it from up here uh, or select animation, you can select the joints from up here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Yeah, and when that, you do that, that pops up the uh, active tool is over here. So with that, uh, the first click, I'm going to create uh, the first joint, and a second click will create another one. A third will create this chain. If you watch closely uh, and pay attention, this joint is oriented uh, in the world axis right now. Now when I create another joint down the chain, it's going to flip. It's going to be hard, kind of hard to watch. It's going to flip, and it's going to follow the direction of this joint. So just so you make a mental note, uh, what's going on is the the joint orientation is being created by the following joint. So if you watch quick, that flipped around. And this last joint, because I don't have a following joint, will remain like that. So when you're done creating a joint chain, you, cr you hit enter. And we've got our entire chain right here. You're going to notice, if you take a good look, the um, x-axis is pointing down our chain all the way to the end. And uh, the end joint doesn't have a direction because we didn't create another one for it to find out. Now, just to point that out under skeleton joint tool in the option box, the orientation is set to X, Y, Z. Um, very typical for uh, the industry and uh, very, uh, you know, almost a lot of the studios, if not all of them, use the X, Y, Z. Well, I can't say all. Anyway, uh, so that's a default. And um, so now a couple things uh, just to point out here at first. Um, oops. Uh, to exit out of that tool, you got to hit Q, otherwise it'll keep going for you. Um, now, when we're making a joint uh, chain, uh, you know, nine times out of ten, you're going to want to move these joints around um, and position them into the mesh. Uh, so now there's a couple ways to do that, a couple do's and don'ts. Uh, well, actually, um, there's ways to fix everything. So let me just show you. If we're in the top of the joint chain, we have all of them selected, and I go to move this joint chain, uh, the uh, well, I, let me just step back six. So if I move this lower joint down here, we notice that this axis is pointing directly to this joint here. Now, if I go and move this joint, uh, just say I move it back over here and then facing this way. The problem with moving that is that now, when we look at this joint, the axis is still point. The x-axis is pointed down here now, where the joint originally was and it's no longer following down our joint chain like uh, we want so that's a problem with moving the joint that way I'm going to show you how to fix it but that's what happens when you move a joint so you need to be aware of it um, what I'm going to do is undo that and get back to our original position so I have it face down now <clears throat> to better show these axes I'm going to open up our comet tools already under joints hierarchy and then comet joint orient now this is a fantastic tool. I'm going to just show this uh, really quick and, uh, well, whatever, for the first video, uh, just so we understand the basics of the joints. So as we can see, these are all selected. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go into Edit, uh, Select Hierarchy. Um, just so you know, if you guys are aware, um, I've got these little buttons up here, my animation set. Uh, to create a button, super easy. Once you find down where you want, you hold Shift and Control before you, uh, Shift and Control, and then you click it. Uh, the option that you want, and uh, it's going to throw a button up here so I can select hierarchy. I already have one, so I'm going to middle mouse button and dump that whoops, into the trash. Okay, uh, I do want to select the hierarchy of this joint chain because I want to display my axis, but I want to show it for all of them. 
what happens if I click on show access right now it's going to show the access for the only the selected joint so select hierarchy it's going to select all those joints at the same time show access okay so now um, you can do that as well by going into the uh, um, component mode up here um, and uh, and we can see the access as well but what this does this um, script it allows you to work on these without having to switch back and forth from the object mode to component mode so, okay, so like we showed, I, you know, if we move this joint, uh, you know, over here, and then we go select hierarchy, show, and this, once you hit show access, sorry, they're going to stay up. So that's trouble, right? So, uh, you know, we need to fix that. Um, another way to move this joint over here is you can select this one, and you can go into rotate. Now watch, when you rotate, what happens is it keeps the axis pointed down the x direction which is what we want um, when I deselect that we're showing the axis and it's lined up great but what happened is that we created a transform over here or we created a uh, a number in the rotation values which is going to be um, unacceptable well not unacceptable but it's going to be problematic that's a good word problematic when we go to um, to animate this and rig and animate so these need to be jo these need to be zeroed out in Maya before we do that. So to fix that, when you want to um, rotate it or move joints by rotation, which is a great way to do it, we've got to keep in mind that's got to be zeroed out. So what we can do is just go into Maya and go mod or is it modify, yeah, freeze transformations. What I wanted to point out is in the option box. Uh, as of Maya 2009, I believe, um, there's a selection for joint orient. So uh, this, if we select this, this. Um, option right now it's going to reset this to world coordinates and that's something that we don't want to do so um, make sure that that is not selected and then we can hit apply and what happens is it uh, it zeroes out the X's here so okay and it leaves our X pointing down um, the direction there and check the time here okay we're about halfway so um, I'm going to show you really quick uh, you know you turn if you select joint orient and we orient this or freeze transformations on this joint uh, just watch closely when we hit apply there it goes it snapped it out over here um, and what it's doing is it's freezing transformations up to the joint above it so that it's no good no good no good make sure that's deselected um, and always I tell people if you're using a shared computer reset settings on your tools because that's off by default I'm gonna undo that so our joints lined up okay uh, another thing, so now I, I, I very much like to move my joints around and uh, I'm going to just show you. So here we are, we're lined up. If I go to move this joint around, now what I like to do is move it in the X and the Z. So just another tip, if you hold control and you select uh, one of the arrows in the move, you notice this yellow um, box down here. So we are constrained now. That's shut off. So wherever I move this, I can't move it up and down. It might look like that because I'm in perspective, but see, I can't move it upside down. So, Okay, so I'm going to move this guy way over here so that we have a noticeable change in our X. And um, I'm going to move this guy, same thing, I'm locked off, um, way over here so we have a noticeable change in our X here. And uh, so these are all thrown off, right? Now what I can do is I can select the lowest joint. Uh, another tip is the arrow keys under your enter button on the keyboard. Arrow up will go up the joint chain. Arrow down, move down. So I'm going to go all the way up. I'm going to select the hierarchy. So I have all these selected at once is basically what that does. And what I'm going to do is I, I'm going to go under aim axis. We're going X, Y, Z. So I want the aim axis is X. The up axis is Y. The rotation axis is Z. We'll explain a little bit more um, later, but so we aim axis X, up axis Y, world up is Y in Maya. I have select hierarchy, so it's going to affect all of these joints. And when I click this button, you're going to notice the X's are going to pop back in line here. Click, pop. Okay, so what that does really quick is it throws these joints into component mode. It gets in these in um, and positions the X straight down. Um, back to the points towards the joint below it like we should have. So um, there's another way to do this. What I'm going to do is undo. Nothing is selected. Oh, so it's, okay. So I'm undoing this. And what, sorry. 
the manual way to do this would be to select the joint and we're going to go into component mode here and make sure your question mark box is, is checked right here and we we'll select that joint and with the uh, rotation tool you're just going to manually spin this joint around and now this is you know this is kind of this is obviously tedious you also it needs to be you know, very precise so to do this you need to go into the top editor and um, I need to pause this video I got a phone call sorry about that okay so uh, we're doing the man okay so manually changing this uh, and so what you need to do is rotate this now when you need to look into the top view and make sure that that X is perfectly aligned down so if you look really close I'm a little bit off I don't know if you can tell from the video well it looks like I got pretty close but you've got to be very precise when you're aligning these uh, joints so um, this is you know this comet tool is a great tool uh, a great way to align all these joints so I'm going to exit out of component mode I'm going to crawl up the entire chain I'm going to select the hierarchy and I'm going to say orient joints and it's going to snap all these right into position Okay, so now further now down the road here, we're going to be working with uh, you know more precise uh, ways. And what happens is uh, the you know the rotation, the joint is going to rotate around the z-axis in our case. And what happens um, when we're creating these is that the z-axis will be pointing some joints the opposite way, and we'll have to go in there and manually turn these around. Now you can go back the way I just showed through the component, or Comet's got a great way here. Let's say I just want to take this uh, joint and I want to rotate the z-axis, um, whatever, I'm going to flip it to the other side. Um, now this is something, I mean, it's lined up right. But uh, So around the y-axis, I can go 15 degrees, and this is just a demo. But now what, what this does is it jumps back into component mode, and it's going to turn this for you. And you can see this button will, you know, turn this guy around. So there's a positive rotation and a negative rotation. I'm going to flip, flip it back. Anyway, uh, I'm going to show more about that, but I want to point that out. So the important points uh, when you're creating these joints, uh, A, if you move them uh, you know, manually like this, you've got to go back in and fix the orientation. This orientation is thrown off now. So I have that, one, that joint selected. I'm at the top. I select hierarchy, and then I'm going to orient joints. Okay, so it's going to reorient this whole chain. Uh, again, when you rotate this uh, joint and you rotate over here, it's going to keep the, the axis great, but we've got a number over here that we don't want in the rotate column. So I'm going to freeze transformations. I've got a hotkey for that and freeze transformations, and that clears that out. So let me pause one more time. Okay, so lastly, I just want to show one of the techniques I use. I'm going to go in here and create a new joint. Is I'm going to create a joint here and then one here. Now, if I've missed this joint and I want to re you know move it around I'm this is highlighted so I'm in my joint tool if I uh, have W selected and I middle shoot I messed that up hold on one second um, let me do it again so hide this. Um, I'm selecting joint select the joint and I want to move this one around since I'm in the joint tool and I want to move this one I can middle mouse button and move this guy around Say so I just missed it and I move it over here. And then I can keep um, working with my joint. But so now we have the rotation axis down here. Now if I go to move this, it's important to know that it's not the axis is not going to be lined up. So if I hit enter, you can see that this axis is now is no longer lined up with this joint because I moved it. So it's a habit, it's something that I like to do because I like to have the joints exactly positioned in the center of my mesh between all of the um, edge loops and that whole nine yards. So anyway, keep in mind, um, it's just one of the ways that I use because I always go back through and reorient my joints. I also go back through and I'll select each joint and check out over here in the rotation and uh, well, the whole channel box uh, and make sure everything's the way I want it. And then I'll just go up joint by joint and check and make sure that these values are all zeroed out. Um, these values are fine, and then I'll go through, select the hierarchy, show the axis, and make sure everything's lined up. You know, with this one, we've got everything set up here the way we want, and basically, because I moved this joint, you know, it's pretty easy with the script, so orient joints. So, again, uh, that is a, uh, uh, well, a real quick uh, jump into creating joints using the uh, Comet Joint Orient tool, and uh, with that, we will stop this one, and... Uh, Move on to the next video.